guys Ben here and welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about the flash and the CW as a whole we've got a few things to talk about so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year so yeah we have a few things to talk about in today's video so if you have missed any videos in the past few days please be sure to check them out but mainly in regards to DC fandom obviously that is the big thing that is coming up in exactly six days time so it's very exciting so please be sure to stick around until next week when we will be making videos on the flash trailer and all the different panels and what we learn from DC fandom about our new seasons of the CW shows. Okay, so talking about the CW, we need to talk about this. So CW has their YouTube channel where they upload their promos, their trailers, their clips and everything like that for their shows normally when the shows are on or you know, releasing a trailer or something to get you hyped for the show. So the CW has a YouTube premiere scheduled for 9am Pacific Standard Time on Monday. So this will be four days before when DC Fandom starts, this will be on the 18th of August. And so this has actually been pretty controversial as it's been making the rounds on Twitter and everything like that because the CW titled this promo or whatever this is going to be, the CW vs Superheroes. And so, you know, it's interesting that they say the CW vs Superheroes because people are kind of worrying, like, you know, did they change it from the Arrowverse or anything like that? But I'm pretty sure they've called it the CW vs before because there was a promo sometime just before Crisis. It was about October time, so when the shows were starting last year, and there was this promo called Comics Come to Life on the CW, and they dubbed it the CW vs. So it seems like officially they are starting to call it that more and more. Obviously, I think the Arrowverse was like a fan started thing. Like everyone online calls it the Arrowverse because Arrow started it. They created this universe. I think the Arrowverse sounds so much better than the CW verse. But I think the CW do 100% know about the Arrowverse and you know the title. But I think they want to title it more to do with the CW so they get some sort of clicks or something like that. I think it's all commercial. They will still definitely call it the Arrowverse. The cast will call it the Arrowverse and everything like that. But anyway, so it seems like the CWverse is just like a way of them dubbing it. So it's like related to their company or something like that. But anyway, so the promo. What is this promo that is going to be coming out? So it's scheduled for the 18th. It is currently set to be two minutes and two seconds long. From this and from the image, you can see Tyler Hoechlin's Superman. Seems like this is going to be some sort of promo, like maybe some new clips or something like that would be really interesting. Because if you guys remember back to like the last couple of August, what they do normally is before Comic Con or around Comic Con time, they release this small promo from all of the different shows. And this lines up with it because it's the CW vs Superheroes. They title it something. It's never like, you know, official trailer or official promo or something like that. They title it something. They use footage from the old seasons and they mishmash in some new footage that they've shot. So obviously the new footage that they've shot wouldn't be included. Like if there is new footage in this, it'll be stuff they shot in the past. Like as in stuff they didn't use for, say, the Flash's finale, which they're going to make a trailer out, they're going to release that DC fandom. But what I'm saying is, what you're getting at DC fandom isn't going to be all the footage in the episode, you know, so they have more footage to use if they want to use. And I think if they did actually include new footage, this would hype people up a lot. And this would be like, you know, August 18th, check out in four days, DC Fandom. And that would get people very hyped. So I think it's a really good idea. I hope the CW vs Superheroes promo is actually a promo with some new footage blended with some old footage. So yeah, that is one of the pieces of news recently. Also on Twitter, Lemon Buzz, who you guys can check out, they're very reliable, they are Vancouver based source and they regularly find out about, you know, filming dates and everything like that and what's happening in Vancouver regarding our DC TV shows and the CW shows as a whole and so they've been given a flash start date. So the start date that they were given was the third week of September, tentatively set to start filming September 22nd. So this would kind of fit with what we've been hearing recently. And the fact that like Riverdale was going back for the 14th of September, we knew it would be sometime around then. 
because we know our cast is going back to quarantine first for two weeks and then they would actually start filming so it all kind of makes sense we knew it was sometime around September like the second or third week of September because they need the time to quarantine then I guess you know they need some prep and everything like that before they start filming so it makes sense that it will be the 22nd also we heard that Supergirl is tentatively starting September 28th so you know if nothing gets delayed they should be back in you know a week or so within a part of each other so time will tell but as of right now The Flash is set to start filming September 22nd in Vancouver would be really exciting if they actually got ahead and they were actually you know allowed to film because it's been a long time it would be great to see some stuff outside maybe some behind the scenes photos and everything like that Canada Graphs get on that and YVR shoots would be amazing so I'm very excited for all of this and I hope everything turns out good and so we also heard recently that Superman and Lois is going to be getting 15 episodes they have bumped it up from I think it was 13 or 12 or something like that so yeah Superman and Lois 15 episodes I don't know officially where that source came from but I heard that Superman and Lois is going to be getting some more episodes so I think that's a good thing, I was kind of expecting that because I think this show is going to be very good. It's run by one of the ex-producers of The Flash, Todd Helbing, so I'm really looking forward to it. Superman is obviously coming from Supergirl and so is Lois, well Lois only appeared in the crossovers. However, it is the first Supergirl spin-off show, so I'm really really excited because it is a spin-off from Supergirl rather than a spin-off of like Arrow or something like that. Because Supergirl started by itself, it wasn't part of the Arrowverse right at the start until we had that Flash crossover, so you know it's something that has come from the Supergirl show, so I think this is very exciting for fans of Supergirl and for people who have watched Supergirl for so long. There is finally a spin-off show and it's very exciting to see Superman and Lois be people that we love like we've seen them a lot Superman and Lois Tyler Hoechlin and Elizabeth Tiller so I can't wait for that and so let's move on to the last few things in this video so this comes from Canada Graphs on Twitter and so he's got some tentative filming dates for the other shows that we haven't talked about yet so go check out Canada Graphs he is a great source he does a lot for us when it comes to behind the scenes and information as in regards to what's happening in Vancouver with our flash set so yeah link in the description below to his Twitter and you can check out his blog because it's always very good to keep up to date with that alright so he has the official date the tentative filming date for Batwoman so the start date is supposed to be September 3rd so this is very early and we did hear from Cameras Johnson one of the stars of Batwoman that they were aiming for a full start date so we kind of got the impression it was probably September maybe October but it seems it's very early September this is one of the earliest shows supposedly going back I think maybe the earliest DC TV show we know that Supernatural was aiming to film sometime in the next few weeks so I think September 3rd is the first DC TV show to return that would be Batwoman and that would make sense because we know Javicia Leslie the new star of the show is currently in Vancouver she was there for about a week or so now so maybe she's already doing her quarantine so it makes sense that they want to start early because they want to get that footage in and if they can do it by September 3rd I think all the better so yeah that's crazy early but yeah September 3rd Batwoman season 2 is aiming to start now let's move on to the final thing Legends of Tomorrow so they are tentatively setting their start date for filming as October 5th so this will be one of the latest shows to return obviously we don't know about Stargo and everything like that because that will presumably come out sometime later next year like towards the end of you know the summer or something like that like they did this year so I'm guessing Stargo might not film until like you know later in the year but anyway so this seems like it's one of the latest shows and Legends doesn't have that many episodes so I don't think it's a big deal that they're starting after so October 5th is the official start date for Legends what do you think about that let me know in the comments down below so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it please be sure to stick around on the channel turn on your notifications and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any content from DC Fandom on my channel and I will catch you guys later goodbye
icy room.